Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Yes, I did try to finish this in two short lectures, but you know what? Negotiation is so important. I did not want to cheat it. I did not want to push past it. I think this is maybe the most important part of this week. So the thing about negotiation is Negotiate, and this is why I recommend this book, Getting to Yes, on Amazon. It's, I recommend it, not required for this course, but if you're looking for skills that will help you in any endeavor, management that transforms, you need negotiating skills. With your partner, spouse, husband, you need negotiating skills. With the car dealer or others, you need negotiating skills. These are invaluable with senior leaders at work, with your analysts. You need these skills. Negotiating skills are important because they facilitate so much of what we're talking about as management that transforms. They facilitate conflict resolution. They facilitate or foster cooperation. They improve communications. They build relationships. Uh, so negotiated solutions can make people feel more committed about their work role or their relationship, right? The first step to opening the floor to any healthy negotiation and, you know, a more harmonious process as managers is to remember that you're on the same team. You both want to be happy and achieve outcomes that are satisfying. Uh, I, I do not recommend negotiating to win-lose. You can negotiate to win-win. In fact, since I have a few extra minutes, I will recommend a movie that is based on that, right? And the movie, if you have the time, is called um, The... So the movie I recommend is called A Beautiful Mind. And it's about a guy named John Nash. And it's a picture based on the true story of John Nash, who, despite having schizophrenia, goes on to win a Nobel Prize. And it can powerfully, powerfully conveys this message that recovery is possible uh, with a disease like that, and yet extraordinary things can happen. So John Nash, what he did was he created this theory about equilibrium. It's called the Nash Equilibrium. And the Nash Equilibrium occurs when there are economic decision makers who are choosing the best possible strategy while taking, this is negotiation, while taking into account the decisions of others, right? And so it's really looking for what's a good win-win scenario for all of us. And there's a kind of a funny scene while he's in college where he, this idea first occurs to him. And it's a scene um, about where him and a group of friends are at a bar and they see a bunch of girls that they would like to talk to. And, but what he's doing in his mind is he's equating this Nash, what would become the Nash equilibrium, that if some people go for certain girls, they'll be rejected potentially, right? But if no one goes for the blonde who was the center of that group and each, each of the friends best strategy um, is not going for the one that likely would be the one they would all go to, not being in competition with each other. Um, and, and so it's really kind of interesting how that experience in a college bar leads to a formal Nash equilibrium, which has been used by nations in negotiation for decades to great effect. Anyhow, I probably haven't done it justice. Our focus here really is on negotiation, but the movie, The Beautiful Mind, and the na the result of the movie, if you watch it to the end where he gets his Nobel Prize, they explain his Nash equilibrium just a little bit. 
and it has been used to create these win-win scenarios uh, in negotiations, right? Where um, decision makers choose the best possible strategy for everyone involved. Kind of neat. Well, here is a video that I did not want to cut short because it is really good. This video alone in four and a half minutes gets to the heart of negotiation. Everything I'd want you to know. But still, go watch the movie Beautiful Mind and or uh, go pick up the book Getting to Yes if you choose. That's a, a extracurricular activities. Not required for this course, but if this topic interests you and you will use it a lot in your life, those would both benefit you. So here goes. Let's listen in. Negotiators all over the world fail to reach agreements or reach suboptimal agreements because they don't know what to do when they come up against an emphatic no. I learned to turn an emphatic no into a yes by understanding my own interest and understanding the other party's interest when I was negotiating for pumpkins in France. Now, interest is a term we use in negotiation, and it means the motives, the concerns that are underlying that emphatic no. So let me tell you about negotiating for pumpkins in France. My husband and I were on sabbatical, and we were writing, and we had our daughters in the local school. The teacher there saw a couple of American parents as an opportunity to have a Halloween party for the French children. He wanted them to carve pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns for their party, and my job was to find the pumpkins, and I looked everywhere for the pumpkins. I could find these things called courge. They were about this big around, they weighed a ton, and you need a machete to get into them. In negotiation terms, these courge were my batna, my best alternative to a negotiated agreement. The courge was my fallback, but it was actually terrible, so I kept looking. Finally, I found a farm stand that had pumpkins. A woman, Madame Petit, came out of the back. I told her I was interested in pumpkins. She gave me the price, and I quickly accepted the price because my batna, those courge, was terrible. And then she asked me how many pumpkins I wanted. And I had 32 children, I quickly counted. She had slightly more than 32 pumpkins, but a lot of them were little. So I told her I wanted all of them. And as soon as I did that, she turned and starts walking away going, no, no, no. So I had to think really quickly about what my strategic options were to try to turn that emphatic no into a yes. One option was to offer her more money, but I didn't really think money was the interest underlying her no because she had given me a price and I had already accepted it. Another option would have been to ask her how many pumpkins she'd sell me, but I wanted a pumpkin for each child. So I thought that option wasn't gonna generate a solution that was gonna meet my interests. I also thought of explaining to her what my interests were, that I wanted to do the Halloween party for the Venosk children, but I also didn't think that was gonna to get to her interests, just mine. So my last option was to ask her, why not? Why won't you sell me all your pumpkins? But then I thought, lots of times negotiators don't like to reveal their interests. They're afraid it, that doing so makes them vulnerable to your exploitation. So I needed a fallback if she wouldn't answer my direct question. I knew I could make her an offer, and then maybe if she said no, we could engage in some conversation to understand what was behind that no. A third option is to ask her, well, under what circumstances would you sell me all your pumpkins? So ask her to make me an offer. I decided to start with the first question and ask her directly why. She explained if she sold me all her pumpkins, she wouldn't have any seeds to plant the next year. I, in turn, explained my interest to have pumpkins for the Venosk children to turn into jack-o'-lanterns, and I offered to bring all her seeds back November 1st if she would sell me all her pumpkins. She agreed. Negotiators often think that the only way to win a negotiation is for the other party to lose. But if you understand your own interests, and you learn about the interests of the other party, you can often reach an agreement in which both parties win. 
Madame Petit and I did. She got her seeds and I got all the pumpkins. I think that's a powerful story and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, negotiation is something you will do your whole life in a lot of venues. So I think it was worth adding a third short lecture to week five just to make these points. Okay, thank you guys. Good luck in your midterm. Write me if I can help you. I look forward to seeing you online.